And Mayor Bloomberg is fighting the court ruling that's blocked his proposed ban on the sale of large sugary drinks. Mayor Bloomberg said the judge was, quote, totally in error and made the point that 5,000 people die of obesity every day in America. And joining me to discuss this issue is Dr. Fred Vanini. He's a board-certified cardiovascular surgeon, nutritionist, and author of the book, Beating the Cardio-Diabetes Connection. Dr. Fred, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. And uh, let's just get uh, the game plan here. We have not, not only New York, but we have the world, Europe, Asia, North America, getting fatter and getting more diabetes. That's number one. The second player, of course, is the mayor. He's in good shape. And by the way, I am 100% in favor of the ban. If you look at Mayor Bloomberg, he's a strong guy. He looks healthy. He practices what he preaches. Then if you take a look at the judge, did you happen to see the judge by any chance? I have not seen the judge. Well, you'll be surprised. The judge Tingling has got to be a minimum of 320. And of course, he's going to be in favor of this stuff. He probably drinks it all day long. <clears throat> so what's, what's the big problem? The big problem is sugar. But it's not only the sugar. <clears throat> there is more and more obesity that is fueling diabetes, and I call that diabetesity. It's fueling diabetes because these high sugar intake, high calories, high fat, inactivity, stress, and other factors are leading to a devastating problem with diabetes and obesity. Now, what's the problem with sugar? Sugar is, is devastating. It's just as bad, if not worse, than cholesterol and other risk factors. Then, you, then why not extend the ban, for argument's sake, to, to candy, to other foods? I mean, where, and if you can buy two bottles of Coke, then you can buy a big one as well. well why don't we ban out sugary drinks altogether? Well, it's not a bad idea, to tell you the truth, uh, because it's, it's a horror. You know, when you take ingest sugar, a number of things happen in the body. First of all, we have a major problem with children in this country. The children are fatter. <coughs> They have a higher incidence of fatty liver. They have a higher incidence of early blood vessel disease. They have higher cholesterol, higher blood pressure, and higher blood sugar. We're killing our youth. And the sugar does a number of things when it gets into your system. It causes what we call oxidative damage. It damages the tissues. It causes inflammation. And it causes damage to the lining of the blood vessels. So when you're taking in these large amounts of sugar, you're doing a tremendous amount of damage to your body. Problem is, it takes years and years to develop. But diabetes is now uh, probably the number one health crisis in multi, multi trillions and billions of dollars. Well, I don't disagree with regards to the proposed ban. And many say that what happens is government programs land up having to pick up the costs for obese people. New York says that it had to pay 60% of the cost of obesity, which cost the city $4.7 billion a year. But what really is the broader global economic impact of obesity beyond New York? People are eating too much. They're gaining too much weight. Uh, there, uh, when I give lectures uh, throughout the country, uh, there are uh, graphs. And you can see, say, the last 20 years, the weight is increasing. And then as that weight's going up, the diabetes incidence is going up. Now, you not only have a problem with weight, you have a problem with something we call visceral adiposity. People may not be that grossly overweight, but you'll notice a lot of people have that belly fat, which is a bad thing. And that's the thing that leads to uh, diabetes and, and uh, obesity but, complications. But do these kind of initiatives actually work? A couple of years ago, uh, Mayor Bloomberg said, we want to have calorie totals on all the menus. And that's actually been accepted on a federal level. On other states have adopted it. But have there been any proof that these initiatives work? I mean, uh, we're not banning sugar altogether. We're not banning candy, we're not banning fried chicken. People love to eat, okay? We have a problem in the world today. Overeating, overconsumption of sugar, overconsumption of fats, lack of exercise, so high stress. So what do stress. we do? Oh, it's got to be done through health education. So this is one step in the right direction. People will get in their brains, well, you know, maybe, maybe I don't need these big drinks. Maybe I could cut them down. Maybe I should cut out sugar altogether because sugar and, and there's another thing that's very bad. It's called high fructose corn syrup. These are very, very bad things. This high sugar intake, this belly fat, leads to multiple metabolic deteriorating factors that are going to destroy you. Look, you know, uh, years ago I used to say when people would come in at age 50, well, you know, you're coming into the heart attack years. 
Now I got news for you. I see people in their 30s and 40s with heart attacks. Well, Dr. Fred, it's, it's a controversial issue with uh, a lot of business implications both on both sides of the band. Thank you very much for joining us. And uh, that's Dr. Fred Benini, the certified cardiovascular surgeon and the author of Beating the Cardio Diabetes Connection.